Okay, I just came here. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't realize it was going to be so quick, but uh, this is like the first time I started digging and I came across this uh, mine shaft. And I just walked in here and broke the, um, the spawner. So all I hear now are these stupid spiders. I don't know if there's another spawner over here somewhere or what. I, I basically am doing this out of curiosity because this is like, uh, I remember coming across here and I can't remember if I died here or not. I think this is the first time I came across the mine shaft. The first time I like went down in, into my mines. This is uh, my mine right here. Uh, and I came across this. I don't remember that. Yeah, I hear a lot of spiders. I wonder if they're, um, like below me or something like that. And there's clearly another spawner here somewhere. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just doing this just to, uh, out of curiosity here. This is just one of those curiosities I had uh, from like a long time ago. And I see that wood right there, so I think it's probably below me. So should I go down there and try to kill spiders? Well, there's almost certainly a, a spawner down there. So, I'm just going to do that. And, like, I don't really need to do anything. I'm not going to explore too much because I know I'm going to die. This is the, the path down into the mines to find the diamonds. Which I haven't been down here in a long time. Yeah, I remember there was a ravine here. I figured that was always really dangerous to go explore. There's just lava everywhere. Actually, there's lava everywhere here, if I remember right. But welcome to episode 62. Uh, it wasn't actually what I was planning on doing this episode, but <laughs> I just kind of thought of it and decided to do it. So, so this auto kiln is pretty much set up to do soul urns. And pretty much soul urns only. I think what I'm going to do is convert it so that I can put it onto a timer so I can cook up uh, white stone. So I'm going to do, so I found this, let me get rid of you, any wood above you, no, let's put a torch here maybe, I think that would be safe. Uh, then do power out to about here, uh, turntable about here, and redstone out to here, and on the opposite side. And I'm going to have a timer. Uh, I'm going to uh, count, actually maybe I should do that right now. Let's grab a couple pieces of uh, white stone, um, or end stone. I want to see how long it takes to cook this. Um, I assume it varies a little bit, but I assume it's probably relatively consistent. So I'm going to cook this up, see how long, how long it takes. Uh, then do a timer for that time, plus, you know, maybe a minute or two or something like that, just in case there's variance in the time. Um, then set up that timer. They both just cooked up. It was 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Interesting. Oh, I need to grab two more pieces. Uh, I'm going to do it again and see if it's the same. Okay, it should be coming up right about now. Yep. 
4 minutes, 15 seconds or so. Uh, which I think, coincidentally or not, um, is the time it takes for that timer to go. So a turntable that is 16 seconds with 16 uh, blocks in a block dispenser. That's 2.56, which is 4 minutes and 16 seconds. So, interesting. <laughs> I, I doubt that that's a coincidence. So I have my power here going to this turntable. Set the slow speed of the torch. Going to this uh, block dispenser with... 16 blocks, one block, 15 slabs. I got the redstone there. Let's go away. Yeah, going into here, and this is where the line goes. So this one's connected. So I guess that redstone should have activated this right then. I have nothing in there, so um, that should have worked. Then I have to set up a line over here. Without catching anything on fire. I have some sandstone. So I think I'm going to do... I don't want anything on fire and I don't want anything... I don't want any of the redstone interfering with, with each other. <laughs> I don't know what's going to interfere with what, truthfully. Um, whoops, I don't need that. So actually, yeah, I think that's all I need. So if I put some redstone on here right now, will anything interfere with anything? I don't think it should. That's not going to, that shouldn't interfere with anything. These torches shouldn't do anything with this. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to need a uh, repeater in here somewhere, but... Um, yeah, let's see here. Maybe... I think this would be a good spot right here. Uh, so, like I said, these timers are going to be at the same time. So the time it cooks and the time for this to go off is going to be basically the same time. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm just going to put this in here and uh, see what happens. I think it will, I think in theory it will work. The only issue is the timing is exactly the same. So uh, that might interfere, but I don't know. Let's let's find out. Okay, so it should be placing it uh, in the next second or, or a couple seconds, I think. Okay, now we have the end stone in there. Will, be, will, will there be enough time for it to cook up and then uh, the next end stone get in there? Or will the next end stone be put in there before this is finished? We'll find out. It should be coming up any second here. So let's see if this works. So hopefully this cooks up. And then the next piece of end stone gets placed in its place. Yeah, see what happened? I need an extra probably second. I've added a, another block dispenser. So I have this one just with two. Uh, so that should be 16 times two. Then I have nine things in here. So 16 times two times nine is, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's something bigger than four minutes and 15 seconds. So it should be another, what, 32 seconds beyond that. So. That should give plenty of time for the end stone to cook up and the next one to be placed in. 
Okay, so this should cook up pretty soon. Okay, there it goes. That's cooked up, so I think in about 30 seconds, the next uh, end stone should be placed in there. Okay, there you go. That's, uh, that's about 30 seconds, so I didn't really count, but I think that was about right. Let me put that in there. Put me, let me put that in there. I think we're probably good to go. So that's going to just cook that up. Uh, so it's going to be whatever it is, just under five minutes, I think. Uh, you know, about five minutes per cook. So it's going to take a while to run through all that, but it'll get cooked up. Instead of me forgetting to cook this up, uh, uh, I'm usually fairly decent on this, but um, I always get busy doing something else and completely forget about it. So this is seven wide and six high. I'm going to build that over here somewhere. Or next to that, actually. Oh yeah, this square is nine by nine. Uh, there's only three blocks between this and what the wall is going to be here. And there's five blocks here. So what I think I'm going to do is do this. So I'm going to move it over a block. So it'll be four blocks of basically walking space there between my path and this building here. And then I'm basically just going to build this up. So I want this to be three, four, five, six, seven. Then something like that. Then. Whoops. So I want that like that. Then. That will probably be like that, like that, then maybe out two. Yeah, I think that's what I want right there. Uh, so it'll be a little, you know, entryway or whatever. So then I need this to be, what, six high? Okay, so this is two. So I think there's going to be like windows and stuff. I'm just going to build it as it is right now. And um, and I will come back in a few minutes when I've built this up a bit. Something like this. Uh, that should be enough to for the map wall. And I can use these walls probably for windows. Uh, I could actually put um, those paintings, like that painting I have on the side of that, or, I don't know, something like that. Maybe I, I can have one window on one side and one painting on the other. Something like that. Okay, let me put some roofs on here. Uh, I just made a, a standard um, slab roof here. I'm do, doing a standard uh, stair roof here. If I can place the block anyways. See that's one difference between vanilla and 152 is you can't do that. You have to you can't be in that block at all. So to make to place that stair, you have to do that. Then I have to move out of the way here. There we go. Something like that. See, so then I'll do the same thing there. Actually, no, that's not going to be there at all. You are going to be there. Not what I wanted at all. I will fix that later. Actually, I want to break you. Yeah. Actually, I probably want to break you too. Actually, I might want to break you too. Because uh, I want that. Then that. I think this is the last piece. I think that's a complete roof. So it's my standard roof. 
Um, no, I need to break these. Uh, do I have any on this side? No, I guess I already fixed them. I think there's a plank down there, though. Actually, a couple. So, standard roof. Okay, the map ball is going to be right there. I think I'm going to have a window here. I think that's probably... Oh, I need to break that one. Uh, I think that is probably the better side to put a window. Because the other side is just going to be looking out on that. Um, so I can start moving the map over here, uh, and see if I can make another one of those. Actually, I probably can just grab this one over here. Let's see. That's interesting. Can I get this on center? So where do I need to place it to be? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll keep that one. All right, let's leave that for now. Okay, I'm going to start moving this map over. There's the map wall. Uh, I live, well, I'm sure I've shown this a million times. I live down here. I live right about there. So I'm probably right about there right now. Um, spawn is original spawn is, I think, this little island right here. Or, I guess it's not an island, but that area there. I have these two maps that I, I made. I don't remember where they go. Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, I think this one is above that one. I think. Because I think this, this map was the one... Where I found the last two villages. They were... Yeah, I think this is showing the last two villages I found. And I think this one... Is this one here. Yeah, because I had this map fully uh, made. Or pretty close uh, to fully made. and I must have died and lost it or something like that. But I'm pretty sure that's that one. I am working on these paths right now. I kind of want something in between like that, what I had before, and that. I think that's too, like too heavy, too much. Uh, I want it more kind of sprinkled in a little bit, or at least less than that, but a little bit more than that. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of some of this, I think. Some of this is just a little bit too... It's like, here I can understand, because that's, like, converging everywhere, but I think I can get rid of... I want to get rid of places where I'm not going to walk as much. Like, there. And take that back... Put that back to dirt. Um, I'll probably walk... Uh, maybe get rid of that... And just put that back to dirt. Something like that, anyways. This is about the fifth iteration of my past, but I think... Something like this. I might uh, change it around a little bit. And actually, I'm going to put some, like, detail and stuff in here. But I think this is... This is too straight, but... Uh, I think overall, it's looking alright for now. Some of this dirt will turn into grass and stuff. So, I think it's looking better. I might, I probably still need to do some paths like this one up here. Um, I think I got most of them. I've also expanded this. I uh, just built a fence around this entire area up, up here. So, there's a fence along here to that wall there, all around. You, got, you know, the main wall there. And I have a fence along where the ravine is there, so the cows shouldn't be able to fall in there. And the chicken farm here should prevent uh, them from doing anything there. 
So that should, I don't know how many more cows I can handle actually, but I should be able to handle more cows. So to breed cows, it's cake. Hey cow. I think. Anyway, let's find out. Whoops. Looking good. Yep. Got a baby cow. How cute. So, uh, I don't know how many cows I can handle, but I suspect it's um, six, eight. And while I'm at it, let's get another pig. Which takes me up to four. I think. Yeah, four. I don't know how many I can do. Probably the same number as the sheep. I'll probably stop at about six. I think this is a probably a pretty good wrapping up point for the episode. As I've completed a few little projects around. It's kind of nice. I wonder if I can use this space for something. The problem is the further I get out, the further... I'm away from everything. I don't think anything over here is loaded up very often. I could go fishing. And I like how there's one tree that's like survived. I don't know if I planted this or... I don't know. But, yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And uh, until the next one, I will uh, see you guys later.